So let's do part F. It's 126-4-54F. Now you're going to want to pay close attention because there's some things here that could easily throw you off. There are some mistakes in the print uh, as we do this here. Some of the things that we're going to look at or that we need to worry about is there's no arrowheads on this, this one, so we just have to kind of assume some things that the arrowheads belong at the end of the leaders. Um, there's also two circles around this here and we're only going to worry about one of those circles and that circle we'll worry about is the one that's indicated in this uh, leader right here now where it's really confusing is this is that um, it says diameter 10 by 18 that won't work out if we do it as a diameter 10 what it is meant to say is a diameter 18 10 times so there's 10 circles all the way around here so we're going to make that diameter 18 uh, when we do that other than that, uh, we're going to look at some things here. Oh, our numbers are going to be 1 or 10 millimeters high. Um, this inside circle is 72. The outside circle is going to be 120. Um, the bolt circle that these are on is going to be a diameter of 96. And then we're going to have to rotate this up 15 degrees to put that one in place and then uh, copy those around uh, 30 degrees between those other ones. Now, what you will notice when you look at this, there's 10 here. If there were 12, there would be two right here also that would be equally spaced. That's just um, uh, kind of an observation. It would be more difficult to try to do it the other a different way, so I'm going to show you this way. It would be a whole lot faster. All right, so now that we've worked that out, it's a metric part, so we'll go ahead and start AutoCAD. Oops. We're going to start AutoCAD, start a new drawing. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and start with the inner circle first so I'll put a circle here and I'm gonna make that one 72 and it went off the screen so I'm gonna double click my mouse wheel and there it is right there I'll make the next circle the outside one there is going to be um, 120 and then we have a bolt circle there uh, that's gonna be in the middle there somewhere like this that was 96 if I believe yeah 96 all right, so now we'll go ahead and put a circle right here on this quadrant point right here. We'll put that on there, and that was a diameter of 18. All right, okay, so now the next thing we're going to do is we have to have that pattern all the way around there. We will use the circle array or polar array. Select that, uh, select that object. The base point is going to be the center of this. Our number that we're going to use this time is 12. So when we select 12, click close, and it puts 12 of them in there. Now don't forget that we had to um, go back, rotate this back 15 degrees. So when we go in here, we're going to click on rotate. That's our center point, and we're going to go backward 15 degrees. So um, we'll go back negative 15. So now you'll notice that it put that back 15. The problem was, the next problem we have was that there's 12 of them, so we need to use the explode command. So we're going to go into this polar array, click on that, right click, and now we can select these two right there to erase. All right, so we've got those out of the way. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that. It's just a reference there for us. Um, so uh, we can get that out of the way. Then, then we've got to worry about the numbers. Now it's 1 through 0, like an old telephone used to be from like the 60s and 70s. So we're going to click on the text. We've done text before. So click on the text. And if we have done it before, you should still have this up on there. So we're just going to pick the number, put in a number 1. Um, we're going to highlight it first, change that to 10. And we are also going to change the, the location there of the, um, the grip that goes in the center to the middle center. And click OK. Now it's going to be tiny here. Some people, it might show up really, really big. Um, you're just going to trust what we're doing. Click OK. And that comes in that way. Now, the reason we do that is where it puts that grip, puts it right in the center of the text, and we'll just move that right to the center of that circle. OK. Next thing we're going to do is click uh, Copy. Click Copy. And we're going to copy this from the center point of that circle. And we're just going to copy that right on around this way. All right, enter. Double click that text, change it to two, click OK, double click the next one, highlight it, change it to three, 
Double click it, highlight it, change it to 4. Double click it, highlight it, change it to 5. Double click the next one, highlight it, change it to 6. Double click the next one, highlight it, change it to 7. Double click the next one, highlight it, change it to 8. Double click the next one, highlight it, change it to 9. Double click the last one here, and it's not, oops. Double click it, not move it, highlight it, change it to 0. All right, double click outside there to zoom the extents. We're going to save it as 126-4-54, uh, let's see, F. Go ahead and print print that, uh, continue to a single sheet. And um, that's happening because I've got multiple drawings open. If that happens to you, just do exactly what I just did there. Right click, plot, and save that. And that's what you would submit in Blackboard. All right, that right there, so that's beautiful. All right. We'll move on to the next one here in a few minutes.